too long after she was proposed to. She was shot while laying in bed with her new boyfriend Henry P. Her ex-fiancé who had proposed to her in recent months broke the door to her new boyfriend's apartment and opened fire on Terentia. What it do? It's your boy Buck Breeze. Mr. No Slackin' himself. No Slackin' involved. It's bad for your health. Yo, we got something crazy for y'all today, man. Yo, so today we got this joint where I guess dude done killed this girl or dude killed his ex-girl while she was laying in bed with her new boyfriend. The Terencia Jackson story? However you want to say it, you know what I'm saying? But whatever, yo, we're going to jump into this. You know, time is money and we can't get a dollar back. So, yo, we're going to jump into this and see what's really good. You heard me? Let's get it. I think they know you. I think they know you. I don't know you. <laughs> this is the story of Terentia Jackson, age 26, a young mother who was killed by her ex fiance Terentia, that's how you say it, Terentia Jackson. Say, Zverian Brent not too long after she was proposed to. She was shot while laying in bed with her new boyfriend Henry P. Her ex-fiancé who had proposed to her in recent months broke the door to her new boyfriend's apartment and opened fire on Terentia and her new boyfriend. Oh, Terentia's shit. new boyfriend was able to fire back at him. So this is the dude who they just said was able to fire back, I guess, while the ex-boyfriend broke in and shot at both of them. That's kind of crazy. Him, which ended up with the three parties all getting shot oh, shit. hello and welcome to twisted crimes oh, shit. subscribe okay. and hit the like button for one, more stories this. Yeah. police are investigating after a woman was shot multiple times while lying in bed this story will be taking us to jackson mississippi uh -oh. known as the city with soul jack mississippi stand up man Anybody from Mississippi in here stand up, you hear me? Jackson is Mississippi's capital and largest city. Situated on the Pearl River, the city is located roughly halfway between the cities of Dallas, Texas, about 400 miles to the west, and Atlanta, Georgia, to the east. Mississippi's capital was named after the seventh U.S. President Andrew Jackson. The First Nations Memorial Day was celebrated in Mississippi. Terentia Jackson was born on May 12, 1990. That's a fun fact for you. I ain't know that right there. 96 in Jackson, Mississippi to Antoinette Jackson and Terence Womack. She was the second of eight children. Terentia was a faithful member of Jehovah Jireh Church before her passing. Terentia was graduate of Provini High School. She was a dedicated employee at UPS and had worked with Walmart at a point in her life. Oh, don't be doing it. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Terentia who was also known as Munchie was known to be a very nice person. She loved her family, she was a happy person, she was playful, sweet and loved to enjoy life. She traveled around the globe enjoying life sometimes when she can. Uh, that's a carnival cruise right there, yeah? You've been in a carnival cruise, man, jump in the comments, hit the like button, so. She was beautiful and down to earth too. Terentia has a young daughter who she cherished so much, she posted almost every bit of her on social media. I wonder was the ex-boyfriend a baby daddy. She loved her so much and did all she could to provide for her. Terentia was in a relationship with a young man named Zverian Brent, age 29. They had a really nice relationship. Nigga like a street boy. <laughs> They appeared to be a lovely couple and has a child together. They shared really nice moments. He is the baby daddy. I 
I guess I will. I guess I could understand why but she didn't think he was going to do nothing. Look how she got. Him. You wouldn't expect your ex man that you didn't have with his face painted, dancing the camera and shit is going to come and shoot your shit up. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I don't think nobody would think. You must have pissed. Real jealous type shit. They loved each other and lived together. Shit. They could. That was his woman. That was his family. You seen the family photos? Go on dates, picnics, etc. Felt like my man took his family from. Zverian would propose to Terentia while she was celebrating her last birthday. He dropped down to one knee to pop the question, even though she took a minute to give him an answer. <laughs> Yo, that's the worst. You propose and take a while to give you that answer? Nah, that's crazy. Oh, he surprised me. That's how you do it. He just shot myself. They were good together for a while so before sad, things sad. started crumbling after the actual reason to what led to them having a breakup is unknown during our research of this incident but the point is that she got fed up with him and decided to move on with someone else. She told him about her intentions and moved on. Terentia would eventually meet someone named Henry. It was love at first. Yeah I guess what maybe the problem was it made them break up. Like she wouldn't got her with a little young thing right here. My boy look a little young. You know what I'm saying? Got her a little young nigga. <laughs> you gotta kick that street nigga to the curb for the young nigga. Okay. Sight. They were a cute couple and shared really great moments together. Mm -hmm. Boy, handle that. I gotta think of a way to get this money by tomorrow. He was probably seeing shit like this. And this shit made him probably go over the fan too. I gotta think of a way to get huh? I gotta think of a way to get this money by tomorrow. Henry was a responsible young man unlike Zverian who had long list of felonies. He Damn, well Henry just looked at light skin the other bitch, but I play football and was a decent guy. Terentia and Henry were happy together, they loved each other, he treated her daughter like his. Tragedy would strike not too long after they started dating. Zverian could not handle what was going on in the life of Terentia so he acted like a coward. See on that. June 7, yeah, 2022, Zverian Brent tracked Terentia down to her new boyfriend's home where she was spending the night. Oh. After the new couple were in bed sleeping, he broke down the door and searched for Terentia. Upon sighting her, he opened fire striking her and striking Henry. Henry wow. was able to return fire and hitting Zverian, making him flee the scene of the crime. When cops arrived, Henry was scared of that nigga. Arrived at the scene, Terentia had been shot multiple times and succumbed to her injuries. Henry Damn. was taken to a hospital where he was said to be in stable condition. There's some breaking news this morning out of Jackson, where police put up crime scene tape around an investigation. Three on your side was on the scene on Fleetwood Drive in South Jackson around 4.30 this morning. Our cameras saw several police cars and an ambulance on the scene. We don't have any details yet on exactly what happened there. Three on your side's Ashley Garner, though, is on the scene now, and she joins us live. Ashley? That nigga fool. He killed his baby mother. Well, Wilson, it is still a very active scene out know. here right now. Jackson police are here. The, again, this is Fleetwood Drive just off of McDowell Road here in South Jackson. Take a look. You can see the Heinz in front of this home here where the coroner's vehicle has backed into the home. Now, this all happened sometime around 4 o'clock. Jackson police responded to reports of a shooting here. We do know at least one person has been killed. Now, according to a family member, one person 
did die in this shooting. There was an ambulance here on the scene yeah. earlier as well. There are also reports that another person was shot. We're still working to get more details from Jackson police. There's no word on what led to this shooting. There's no word on if police have any suspects or not. Right now they do have this area of Fleetwood Drive blocked off while investigators are working to try and determine exactly what happened. There's also a crime scene unit here on the scene as well. Um, again, Again, lots of family members have shown up here at this crime scene as police are investigating. Once we get more information, we'll be sure to keep you updated. Zverian was declared a serious person of interest. Jackson police are searching for the man they say killed a woman while she was lying in bed yesterday. According to JPD, Severian Brent shot and killed Terencia Jackson on Fleetwood Drive, another man who was also shot and sent to the hospital. If you have any information about Brent, please call Jackson Police or Crime Stoppers. After further investigation, detectives determined Vita Valentine, 28, assisted Zverian in evading law enforcement. She was arrested and is charged with accessory after the fact to capital murder. Zverian was found and arrested the next day, he was arrested and transported to the University of Mississippi Medical Center for treatment. JPD Deputy Chief Derek Hearn said, It was not known when Zverian would be released from the hospital. When Zverian gets out, Hearn said he'll be transported to the Jackson Police Department's holding facility and then to the Raymond Detention Center. After he got out and was taken to court, he was denied bond during- Okay, so that crazy ass looking chick must be the one who gave him a ride to do the whole shit. I was looking like what, like, what the fuck? How she have anything to do with it? But yeah, she must be the driver. During an initial court appearance, he was charged with murder and attempted murder. Zverian had faced enough charges in the past. In 2015, he was indicted on felony charges for possession of some substance and possession of hydrocodone. At the time of his arrest, he also was in possession of a 38 caliber handgun. In 2017, he was indicted on felony possession charges again for being in possession of some substance and again in possession some of a handgun. Substance. This fuck is some substance. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah, fuck that shit. This time a 40 caliber Glock. Henry really missed her after her passing. He posted the last night they shared together evil struck. He captioned it, this was our last moment before. Damn, that's the last night? Or we went to sleep not knowing the devil was plotting on us you right i think they know you he went ahead to get a tattoo of her on his neck caption reads got in my feelings so i went and got it finished he also made this piece for her To you. We do hope she receives the justice she deserves. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Terentia Jackson. May Terentia's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video. Yo, that's crazy. That's I tell you one thing though. That's that's a a prime example of why you definitely want to keep your firearm close to you if you have one. You know what I'm saying? And you in the house with your thing, it's no, you don't want to have the shit way far over there. You got to try to get to it inside of a safe. You got to try to unlock it, all this weird shit. Because somebody come in dumping on you, kicking your door or some shit, come in and dump it. What you going to do? He lucky he was actually able to get to his firearm and get this dude up off his ass. Because if not, it would have been closed curtains for both of them. You know what I'm saying? Corner would have been picking them both up. Damn, this is a sad story right here. This shit's actually kind of crazy. This fool right here, man, he on some bullshit, though, man. He took out your own baby mom. Like, now, now your kid don't got no mom and shit. Ain't no dad. Like, dude, what part of the game is that? Anyway, man, yo, it's your boy, Buck Breeze, man. Mr. No Slacking himself. It's no slacking at all. Bad for your health. Last of us.